Copilot is said to be the most powerful productivity tool on the planet. That is at least what Microsoft is saying, but I gotta be honest, I'm beginning to believe them. Fortunately today, we're gonna begin to look at how you can get this turned on in your environment. Welcome to your step-by-step -step guide on how to enable the Copilot help pane, and we even have a bonus tip at the end of the video to see how you can take Copilot to the next level in your environment. So be sure that you stay for that. Let's get started. So what you're going to do, you're going to go ahead and open up the make.powerapps.com, go to your environment here, and then you're going to navigate to apps. Then once you navigate to apps, you're going to look for the customer service admin center. Once you have that, you're going to go ahead and click it here. You want to make sure you're not editing it. It should open up a new tab and navigate you to the customer service admin center app. Then if this is your first time doing this, you're going to get this help agents work smarter with Copilot AI features. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and navigate to productivity over here and under agent experience. And today our focus is gonna be on the Copilot help pane. So right here you can go ahead and select manage over on the right for the Copilot help pane as you can see it is in preview. When you click manage when you do this for the first time you're gonna get this Copilot help pane preview where you have to provide your consent to opt in. Let's go ahead and do that. You're going to opt into using Copilot, and then you're going to be brought to this screen here. So this is going to begin to break down how you can implement the different Copilot features and make them available to agents. So for example, this first checkbox here, you need to check. You can select make this available for agents. And you see once you do that, this is going to ungray these and allow you to select them. If you want to enable the Copilot help pane for customer chat, then you can do that here. If you wanted to do that for emails, you can do that here as well. You can select one of them, both of them, neither of them, but this is gonna be where you are turning on this feature in your app. Next, under agent access, this is where you can begin to utilize agent experience profiles. So agent experience profiles are different privileges that you can assign either to a single user or a group of users. You can think of these like security groups or teams in your environment. You can add different users to an agent experience profile and that profile then is going to limit certain co-pilot capabilities that you can set up. So say you have a certain co-pilot capability you want turned on in your environment, you want some users to use it, but you don't want certain sales team members to use that, that can be done in your agent experience profiles. So next is knowledge sources. Knowledge sources are going to be the information that your co-pilot help is going to look at. So specifically, there are a couple different ones, one of which is going to be the knowledge base. The knowledge base is your Microsoft knowledge base that you have set up. Um, this is gonna be within Dynamics. Another thing you're gonna find here is you can include trusted web pages as sources. You can add a maximum of five web pages. So as you can see here, you can enter different web pages up to five. You can also remove them if necessary. So these five trusted web sources, how do they work? If you put in a web source here, this web source has to be available to the Bing API. It cannot be behind a business firewall or it cannot be a personal web page. It needs to be something that could be readily accessed on Bing. And then these links can actually look two levels deep. So say for example, you put in www.website.com that can then look drill down into website.com to see website.com slash X and then it can look into slash X one level down to be slash X slash Y. I hope this is making sense but if you add a URL into this it can look two levels down into that URL. So say there was only a certain part of your company website you would want this copilot to look you could add that drilled down website into Copilot, and then that way it wouldn't have access to your whole website, but just the drilled down URL you provided. It's kind of confusing, I hope it makes sense. Once you're done setting up your knowledge sources, all you have to do is hit save and close in the top right, and then when you go back to your app, you can see on the far right side of your screen, you can click the Copilot widget, and that's gonna open up the Copilot help pane that we all need and want in our environments. So now it's bonus tip time. If you wanna take this Copilot help pane one step further, you need to enable Copilot summaries. 
But in order to learn how to do that, you're gonna have to watch this video here. That's gonna be a step-by-step -step guide on how to turn on your Copilot summaries. If you enjoyed today's video or have any tips on how to enable and get more use out of Copilot, put them down in the comments down below. As always, my name is Griffin Lickfelt. Thank you guys for sticking to the end of the video. We'll see you in the next one.